Turn your eyes away, for your look overwhelms me. The Song of Songs. Our perception of reality and its reflection in film, or more generally in art, depends on whether we assume objects to actually be what they seem to be. From a philosophic point of view, we operate from the perspective of phenomenology or constructivism. Perhaps these different perspectives and their mental representations, or the possibility of difference in itself, define art as something more than mere Aristotelian mimesis. From a cultural history perspective, surely nothing is more significant and more polyvalent than the image of humanity and its reflection in the arts. Europe, according to Karl Jaspers, paints the image of man in chiaroscuro style, with dark and bright colors, enlivened with Platonic, Aristotelian and Biblical traits, giving an impression of what is or seems, turning the essential question of ontology into one of perception and perspective, and ultimately the right point of view. Therefore, European cultural theories deal with what is best described as the unresolved yet traceable construct of identity, which is artistic, even if not intentionally so. The image of man is the image and focal point of what we see or what seems to be. It raised a new cultural awareness centuries before the concept of Europe even existed in the modern sense placing stress on the look or the gaze as the process of perception or as perception itself. It was in 1426 that the Dominican father Nicholas of Cusa, better known by his Latinized name of Cusanos, began a challenging journey which he never completed. We cannot call it a pilgrimage, because that's not what it was. Rather, Cusanos embarked on an interior journey through the early psychology of human recognition, the climax of which has been found in contemporary sciences, arts and movies.